So yes, I did do a lot of shooting today, and the two guns I shot, uh, the other one was a Model 27 Smith & Wesson Classic, but I also shot the Smith & Wesson Model 629 4-inch, and I used the high-tech bullets. So the idea behind this video is after shooting somewhere around 60 rounds out of uh, this gun, did the high-tech cause any fouling or leading? Does high-tech work as good as powder coat? Well, let's have a look. This came back from the range, and so, yeah, it's pretty well fouled, but there's no sign of any color, which we wouldn't expect to see. Let's go ahead and clean this. What I've got here is a nylon brush chucked in an electric drill. It's the proper caliber for our 45 and 44 caliber guns. We'll go ahead and dip that and then run it into all the cylinders. Now we'll do that in all six cylinders. Then we'll take a nylon brush and run it through the bore. Now you might ask, how come I'm not using a brass brush? Well, the reason why is because with our powder coating, a lot of times all you need is a nylon brush. You don't need to have a brass brush. Nylon can clean also. When you have a little tougher job, you need a brass brush, but when the job is easy, the nylon brush is the way to go. Let's, let's see if this is an easy job or not. Now this car mat has a little ridge around it, so I can use it to tip my Ed's Red bottle a little bit. And of course, I'll be putting more Ed's Red in there. After all, I've got about a gallon of it. Well, less because I've been using it, but there's still a lot in there. And we can make some more if we need to. Okay, next we're going to run a patch into our bore. Get the patch in and then we use the bore guide, like so, so we don't wind up damaging the crown at all. Like so. Three times should be good for drying it out. Now we're going to go ahead and check that barrel. Looks pretty clean. I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll fringe that light a little bit so you can see in there a little better. Uh, what do you think? Well look from this end because sometimes from this end you'll see a little lead in there. Nope. Now we can go this way and see in there this way. Ah, there's a little something in that forcing cone. Little something. Let's go ahead and run some a brass brush in there. Okay, so here's the brass brush. Started in the barrel and then fit the, the little guide there and there it goes. When it goes through you don't want to force or have a lot of force going through because your rod will hit the recoil shield and it could pin your firing pin hole although I've never seen that happen but it could. Now we can't reverse our brush in the barrel. And 
and this is a little harder to do with the camera in the way. All right, we'll run that through there a few more times and then we'll look at it again. Well, what do you know? It's gone. Whatever that was, it's gone. The brass brush got rid of it all. That wasn't bad, so I would rate that cleanup as being pretty easy. So the high tech did a real good job allowing us to shoot without any kind of leading at all. Now, of course, the bullets were fitted to our gun. The bullets are 430, and that's perfect for this, for these cylinder throats. 4295, so 430 bullets are perfect. So, uh, good high tech uh, in terms of the cleaning up, and they shot fine. They shot just like the, uh, the powder coating bullets. So, uh, good news.